Sherlock Holmes, a detective whose work in genius has spanned the centuries. A brilliant mind who solved such cases as The Hound of Baskerville, A Study in Scarlet, and The Valley of Fear. But fuck him, instead we're talking about Dick Tracy, the banana man in yellow who solved such cases as The Bogus Box, A Bang Up Job, and Banks A Lot. I see what you did there. The story opens with Dick Tracy speaking to his mortal enemy, Big Boy. And why they're just randomly chatting, I have no idea. But that's what's happening now. So this random officer here, who happens to suffer from a very serious case of goblin face, tells us that we're not allowed to shoot unarmed thugs. And what happens if we do? We die! And if you thought the cop was ugly, wait till you see the villains. They have very distinct features. Introducing lack of distinct features. Table head, allergic to bees, Woody Allen, Captain Acid, and a lady. So how do you play the game? Well, you kind of just jump and punch and occasionally you shoot people, you find clues and arrest people. And how do you collect clues, you ask? You, you punch them. Yeah! Punch it! Punch it! Come on! Punch it! Come on! Punch it! Okay! There we go. Got it! And what about the power-ups in this game, you ask? <laughs> well, there's... The Tommy Gun. The Grenade. The Boxing Glove. Boxing Gloves? Yeah! Boxing Gloves! Well, I mean, you know, every detective needs it, I suppose. Oh, excuse me. I was not under the impression we were playing Super Mario Brothers here. Now, finding your destination in this game is actually rather simple. If you need to go to, let's say, 4B, you just go over four streets and you look for B. It's a grand system, mother So finding where you need to go, that's not an issue. The problem are snipers. Yes. Fucking little snipers everywhere that will shoot you constantly. They're a perfect indication of the difficulty of this game. This game is difficult. And I mean classic Nintendo difficult. The kind of difficult that makes it feel like you're trying to squeeze a this out of your ass. Two pigeons meat thermometer into your You know if you've played this game, you've witnessed this screen far too often. This game is also pretty unfair though. I'm just gonna park my car here, go in the level, and make it to the end, barely, and- Oh, come on, what the fuck? I couldn't even avoid that! Alright, and- yeah. <sighs> Hooray! So each clue in this game tells you exactly where you need to go. To start this case, I need to go to Steve the Tramp's Flophouse, which really sounds like a brothel designed for men with erectile dysfunction. We just have to check the mugshots to find out where Steve the Tramp is located. He's located at 5th and B. Alright, so here's Steve the Tramp. All you have to do now is interrogate him and find out where the next clue is. This time it's at 9th and F. Once you have all the clues filled out, you can figure out who did it. Hmm... I wonder... Uh, HA! I knew it was you. Alright, so we figured it out, it's numbers, all we have to do is go and arrest him, and we've solved the first case. Well, that was extremely easy, he didn't even put up a fight, no. I was framed, copper, I want my lawyer! He was just like, yeah, no, it's, yeah, I did it, it's fine, yeah, you got me. Great job, only you could have figured that one out, Tracy. Really? Really? An entire fleet of police enforcement and detectives couldn't have read the clue that said numbers, did it? I feel bad for whoever lives in this city. So now we skip to the end case, banks a lot. Ultimately, a bank is knocked over and you have to figure out who did it. I'll give you a hint. It's the last case, it was probably Big Boy Caprice. Because at the end of the game, you have to take him out anyways, right? So that's, that was my reasoning behind it. Once you collect all the clues, you find out that indeed, Big Boy did do it. I wonder who saw that one coming. Me. If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Putting on the ritz. There can be only one! 
That looks familiar. I'm Mousy! Mousy! Now you can just arrest Big Boy and the game is over. It took me 24 years to beat this game, but I did it. I did it for you. The Goblin Man. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, remember to hit that subscribe button, or you guys can like and comment if you want to do that. You guys can also check out my video from last week on Maniac Mansion. Now, I know in that video I said I was only going to be releasing one video a month, and I lied to you. I'm going to do more than just that. So remember to subscribe!